So you have two black girls that was enduring students who are white supremacists. That's what they are. And I want you to hear what they were enduring at the hands of these students. Go ahead, roll that. I heard the sound of a whip and I looked behind me. A classmate was using a phone app that makes a whipping sound and was pointing it at the two students of color while hurling incredibly offensive racist insults at them. One of the girls snapped this photo while pleading with the student to stop. And then she proceeded to tell me, like, get away from me, you monkey, in front of, like, the whole class. Sick, sick things, and it made me really uncomfortable. I shouldn't feel like we're in danger or we're being harassed and we know the school can't do anything about it or they won't don't want to do anything about it well, i think they almost like didn't care kind of like they just wanted to like brush it off and just like didn't do anything about it when i told many of you that anti-black racism is passed down uh, with the white supremacists like a cultural norm it is because those are students, those are kids, right? Now you would say, oh, well, you had the Klan and, and all that in the 60s, you had all the, 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 the slave masters and all that, yet it still continues to 2023. They're having an app, I didn't even know it had an app where you make a whip sound, I didn't even know that, see? Because I don't think about things like that. I don't think about harming people or trying to traumatize people. Let's think about that. You have some of them, believe it or not, that wish they could have lived during the slavery time where you and I would have been slaves. Oh, oh, they, they wish they could have lived that. That's why you see some of them so fascinated with plantations. Some of them even want to get married at plantations. Oh yeah, some of them do. Some of them want to reenact uh, 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 plantation times and all of that. So they reenacted, they hired black folks to be serving them like the, the plantation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a real thing. It is. Look, look, everything I'm telling you, look it up. Look it up. They fantasize about the slave times. So at the same time, they know all the filth and the dirt they've done to black folks. Then when we talk about reparations, they don't want to hear talk of it because that means they got to pay what they owe. Now these children are trying to get an education and they're being called monkey and all kinds of other things they're being called, right? And is the school doing something about it? No. Now that same school was sued before, actually. That same school and the parent had won. And yet they didn't change anything. This is why even with the young man in the Barbers Hill School District that was removed, that we did an interview with the mom, um, and everything with Dr. Candace Matthews and Allie and all of that, right? Even then, I just don't want my child in school where they endure that because we know the public school system is not going to protect black folk. It's not. I'm willing to pay whatever I got to pay to keep my kid away from that. It's, you know, it's just whatever I got to pay. Now I know in America, you're going to deal with that. I get it. I know my kids can't avoid it forever. And you better believe I'm still, I'm teaching them. Of course, I'm going to teach them everything I can as things come up. Cause I'm a firm believer of teaching kids as things come up, to ask questions, educate them, uh, definitely as much as possible on, on everything that's going on in this country for sure. But children should be in, in enduring that school in itself can be hard, right? Just living life can be hard. But your child got to endure hearing a whip or I've covered stories before where they talking about you, or you're going to be picking cotton or altering a photo of, of another student talking about picking cotton. I mean, and now another thing, it goes back to what covered about colored, right? And that girl, Tyler talking about she's colored. Well, that first girl, her mom is white. Her dad is black. And yet they were, they were doing whipping sounds to her. So if you come into this country, if you got a black parent, you're black here. All that colored stuff, that don't, don't work here. But no child should be enduring that, none. That is not only racial, that's psychological abuse as well. And the, 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 the school needs to be sued and the state needs to be sued as well. 
And you and now you understand why we say we need an anti-black hate crime bill. Now, if those same students would have did that to an Asian, oh, it would have been hell to pay. Cause they got a hate crime bill for them. But black people, no, we're not protected whatsoever. And that's why when we talk about these politicians, we need an anti-black hate crime bill because of stuff like this that you saw in this video. We need reparations. We got to have that. If you're not going to give us an anti-black hate crime bill, no reparations, don't worry about it. I'm not voting for you. It's just that simple. And I don't care what political party that'll give it either. I don't care if it's a Democrat going to give it to us or a Republican. Either or. You got my vote. But if you're not going to give it, don't worry about it. Like I said before, you benign and neglect us, we benign and neglect you. Everybody else getting money, migrants getting money, people all over the world who are not even citizens of this country getting millions of dollars a year, billions. But we can't get reparations or protection? No, 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 no. You, y'all can do what you want at that point. You want our vote? We, we need an anti-black hate crime bill. We, we got to have that at minimum. And y'all can make sure to make that happen. They really don't want us protected, but we got to make sure that we are protected. That's why I'm a firm believer. We should be creating our own schools and having our children, our own schools and educating our kids. We want to educate our kids on because clearly they schools is, is a 